Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me a message on one of my videos if there was a way to make a handwritten font writing, not a font, but a handwriting uh, thicker. And yes, you can. So I just wrote my name. And so I, I scanned it. I scanned it really high at like 1,200 dots per inch. And with it selected so nothing else on the page disappears and you can see the size of the scan paper. We don't need all this. Make Corel work harder. So let's get the crop tool and just crop out that name. And then you have less to work with. Then I would go to bitmap and you can see since I uh, scanned it at such a high DPI, it's already 600, which is great. In this case, you don't even have to convert it to black and white. You can just trace it. Outline trace, I always use clip art. It seems to work the best for me. And you can see it removed most of the, the white background. Now there is still gonna be some white background in that center. So let's just put a yellow box around it, go up to object, order, back a page. That is the previous one, but you can see the yellow or the white inside the, the O. So all you have to do is go to object, group, and ungroup. And there you can do two things. You can just grab the black and move it out of the way, or you can grab the white and just hit delete. So if you left click, right click, you have an outline. So pretty much anything you can outline, and even if you can't, you can contour it. Now this is my handwriting. It's not very good, but it, you could alter this just a little bit. You don't want to, especially if it's your mother or grandmother and you don't want to alter the uh, handwriting too much, you could go through and just get rid of some of this little bit of a jiggle. It's not going to change their handwriting or their personality because the contour is going to uh, actually make it worse when you contour a bad so you just go through and just kind of take out some of those little nicks and don't do it too much because then it's not their handwriting. So you can do it two ways. You can group it all together, control G, and then go up to effects, contour. And we're gonna contour in red to the outside 0 0.08 because you don't want to make it too much bigger. Let's make it for the video, let's make it 0.001, no, 0.01. Just a little bit of contour. Now, what it did do is it contoured the inside too. And you can see what I'm talking about. It made everything you do, it's, it's uh, putting more emphasis on that bad spot, which is fine, it's no big deal. But what I would want to do is keep that inside circle so we're gonna select it all. We're gonna go up to object, break contour apart. I've got my nudge factor set on, let's set it on two inches. Let's grab the inside contour and move it over. Now, what I do like about this, I like that bigger part of the circle because it contoured to the inside. Go up to object and break curve apart. Grab that little red part, go up here, go up to object, Ungroup, ungroup again, well, break curve apart, and grab that interior and nudge it over. Now, so it's a little bit bigger than it was. Now to use this, you've got to use the Smart Fill tool to fill that in or fill in that dot. So that is quite a bit wider than it before. Of course, we've removed the circle and you can see how much thicker it is. Now you could either do that or let's put it back where we got this font completed. You can make the boundary a thicker line. Go up here and let's go, uh, well, I'll tell you what, let's make it a, a copy of it, a duplicate of it. So we can tell the difference once we're done. And we're gonna make the boundary a thicker line.
Now, if you take your Smart Fill tool and fill that in, you've got a little bit thicker font already. Just by changing the, the outline of the, of the font itself, as long as you use the same color, it's gonna engrave or print. Now, I did this with a, a black Sharpie, and even then, I mean, it scans not perfectly, it's pixelized, you really can't use that, so you've gotta trace it. But if you have one that's really faint, this trick might help you make it a little bit more distinguishable. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.